Mike McIntyre with CS Outdoors Pro Staff. It's September 17th, 2016, and today is the official kickoff to my season. Uh, we opened on Thursday here in Missouri, but due to work, I haven't had a chance to get out until today. So this will be the first hunt that I'm, I'm getting out on, and to say I'm excited about it is definitely an understatement. So uh, we're starting off uh, this year kind of like how we always do recently in this managed hunt. We're at a conservation area just outside of St. Louis. Uh, it's about 7,000 acres, a little over that, and uh, borders right along the Missouri River. And there are some giant deer in here, and their numbers are just staggering. So we always do really well. Uh, got high hopes for, for this, this place. We're going to the same spot we have in the past. Um, we're going to kind of toss it up a little bit, though. We're actually going to going to sit on the ground uh, and do a ground blind because we haven't uh, had a chance to get our stands in there. I don't think we're really going to hunt this a whole lot this year, so you know the, the, the time that was going to be needed to hang stands and all that, I just don't think it's going to be worth it, so we're going to do the ground blind scenario. See how that works for us. Uh, we've kill, killed deer off the ground in there before, so it's definitely not uh, not out of the realm of possibilities. So. Um, I'm going to be meeting up with uh, fellow pro staffer Jeff Wolf and uh, fellow staff member Kevin Kellerman. Uh, they're all in the lottery and got drawn with my myself and uh, a couple other a couple other friends of ours. So um, I'm going to be meeting up with them out here. I think Kevin's already out, I believe, um, looking for a, a tree to get a climber into, and uh, I, I know Jeff's on his way. So. Uh, we should be uh, meeting up here at the same time to get suited up and, and get in the woods. So um, we are going to kind of go back to our old spot where we've always been in the past, or um, back around the, the lake in here. Uh, since there's a water source, that's always really good this time of year, early season. Um, and plus there's a couple of known persimmon trees in there that are always loaded with fruit so hopefully it'll be the same this year as it always has been and we'll be able to uh, be successful and, and get a good harvest down early so anyway um just getting ready to pull in here now so uh, i'll be catching up with uh with everyone here a little bit later on this evening we are set so um it's different being on the ground the cool thing is, is i'm right across from the big tree where we always hang our stand so we're in the same general area. There's persimmons dropping everywhere. There's dropping out of the great big tree here, and then one back over the shoulder. There's they've been falling all the afternoon. So um, I got high hopes that they're going to be in here hitting the persimmons really good. Um, we got winds out of like the northwest. All of our sun's blowing back behind us. We had a really good entry where um, we came in high and then dropped down here. So we kept all of our scent out of the area where um, we don't have we don't have anything where you probably hear dropping there but we don't have any uh, any scent blowing down into where we believe they're bedded and where they come up from in the past so um should be interesting we've gotta gotta stay ready because whenever they're on the ground like this and you're right there with an eye level you know you, you they'll be on top of you and you gotta be ready to make a shot real quick so um i'm gonna get hunkered in here it's about 80 degrees so sweat it out for a few hours and then uh, once the sun goes down um should have a good uh, a good uh, last hour there um, to try to put something together. So hopefully it'll cool down and, and it'll start moving real good. So we'll see what happens. Well, that was one uneventful evening. Uh, didn't even see a deer tonight. Had two skunks that uh, were chasing each other around, but that was the most activity I saw. Uh, that and me swatting mosquitoes. So, um, not really sure what the deal was. I mean, there was guys out on the lake fishing tonight, so that could have put some pressure in the area. Um, you know, the the food was there. The persimmons were dropping all over the place all night. Um, you're lucky you didn't twist an ankle walking in on them. They were just covering the ground. So, you know, um, a couple years ago, the conservation department ripped up, um, I don't know, probably seven to 10 acres of, of really good bedding area. It was just a huge thicket and, um, there was no mature trees. It was just a, a real thick, uh, um, overgrown area. And, uh, that's where they used to always come from. We used to always, always have them come that direction, go into a bean field. 
and uh, they they tore all that out and put a food plot in there, planted it the first year, and haven't planted it again. So it's now just barren, unusable ground. Um, there's no signs of it being planted uh, tonight. It was just brush hog. That was it. So um, I don't know. I mean, there's a myriad of things that that could contribute. You know, um, you try to rack your brain, but you got to move on to the next day and not not beat yourself up about it. So. Um, you know, our scent control was on point and had all my gear in the scent crusher tote and ran the scent crusher on the way there and played the wind. The wind was in our favor. We, um, well, the way we, our entry was, was totally, like I said earlier, was, was totally favorable to keep the wind out of, you know, where we usually have them come from. And so, you know, it's one of those nights, everybody has them. So, um, you know, just, uh, hopefully the next time we'll, we'll wipe this one off the books. So anybody else who's getting out in the morning, be safe and, um, good luck to you.